Hey guys, welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ, and if you haven't noticed, in this video I have a brand new intro. With my father's amazing computer skills and my artistic eye, we were able to create that awesome intro. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. So inside this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to conquer the nether. A couple videos back, I made a video on how to conquer the sea. On that video, I got many, many comments asking me to do a review on how to conquer the nether. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. Like in How to Conquer the Sea, I'm going to show you different pieces of armor and some potions and also some other things. Now we all know we go to the nether to either fight, explore, or obtain items. Now we all know the nether is covered with fire and lava. That's where these first couple things come in. Now first off, what you'll obviously want to have is the Potion of Fire Resistance. The Potion of Fire Resistance allows you to swim in lava and stand inside fire. That also means I can go with the swim with the zombie pigment. Now the next thing you'll want to have is not only going to help you with lava, but it's also going to help you with many, many other things. This next one will need Plug PE, but you can have it without Plug PE if you want. What you'll need is you'll need to have pieces of armor with all the enchantments on them, all the way up to 32,667. And by the way, these pieces of armor require absolutely no jailbreak. All you need is the simple application Plug PE that is easily found on the application store. I'm not going to go very far into this because I have many different videos on this. If you want to learn how to get all the things I'm about to show you, I have a, a link in the description. Go into one of my videos where I give you a tutorial on how to use that awesome application. Just in case you don't know how to get these pieces of armor, here's how to get them. So you want to go into your chat bar and make sure Plug PE is running. Then you want to type .g. Then you want to do the uh, type of armor you want. So let's do uh, you, you can do uh, gold, you can do diamond, you can do iron, but I'm gonna do gold. No, 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 we're gonna do diamond. We don't want gold. Diamond chest plate. And then you wanna do a comma. Then you wanna do all. This stands for all the enchantments for this thing. So that means you, you can get all the enchantments there are. Even for like swords, you'll get like smite and you'll get sharpness on your chest plate. It's crazy. So. You'll get a really dangerous uh, chest plate that's also that's also really good for protecting you. So next you want to do this, and then you want to do not max. Max does not work anymore. Although it did work in other versions of this, it no longer works. So don't do max. So instead of doing max, you want to do 32,767. That's the maximum you can have. Now when you put that in, from the sky will drop one of these. Now I don't have Plucky running right now, so nothing will happen. Also, by the way, you cannot get things inside of the nether with this application. It just doesn't work. Okay, now let's test out the strength of these pieces of armor. So let's jump into this lava and see what happens. Really, really impressive, huh? So you're not burning alive because you have the fire protection and also because you have a full thing of iron armor. Uh, I mean, golden armor, diamond armor. But this will be really useless if you have the potion of fire resistance because you don't need to worry about this. Also, since these pieces of armor have all the enchantments on them, you'll also be able to uh, take fall damage and bring, breathe underwater. And, and by the way, taking fall damage in the nether is actually really, really useful. Because there's always far drops in the nether, like there's, you need to drop down from a really high place and you don't want to get hurt very bad. Wearing these pieces of armor will actually help a lot with that, as you can see right now. That was only half a heart! Did you see that? Only half a heart! All right, here we go. Only three and a half, oh no, three hearts. It only took three hearts. So yeah, these pieces of armor are really, really useful when you're surviving inside of the nether. Also, really quickly, a good tip inside the nether is that you want to have cobblestone or some type of block so that you can actually get from place to place so let's say we want to get from here to there and and we went mining before and we got a whole bunch of cobblestone that you just want to throw into the lava but don't throw away your cobblestone it can be really useful into the nether because you can build across uh, to get to places like as you can see now so you can see how I'm doing this really painfully see how I'm doing this I'm, I'm going across like this you don't need to do it like that this is where the second tip comes in so obviously when you're going across this 
you go really, really, really slow so you don't fall off the edge. All you need to do is tap forward. See where I'm going to tap right here. Right here. See how far away that is from this block? I tap right here. And look at that. I don't... I look. Well, look at this. Look at this. I can just, like, crouch and just start going. Now, two more potions you'll want is you'll want to have the potion of swiftness and the potion of leaping. Now, these really help with exploring and going really quickly and trying to get places very quick so that you don't need to use cobblestone all the time to get to places which comes in handy with the first one which is the the splash potion of what is it leaping the splash potion of leaping now instead of placing a, a, a cobblestone block right here so you can get up here you can instead use the potion of leaping uh number two so make sure you get number two so you can jump over really really high uh areas so you don't need to place any cobblestone like right here i'll need to place a piece of cobblestone not today also, a very, very useful potion is the Potion of Swiftness, as I've already talked about. You throw this into the air. The Potion of Swiftness allows you to go a really, really quickly and also allows you to explore places very, very fast. So right now, you can see this this, this, this place right here. As you see, it's really, really tall. You want to get up there, but you don't want to place any cobblestone. That's easily done with these two uh, potions. So you can get up there really quickly. You can go exploring and jump over really high places. So you'll have an easy time going through the nether. Next, we have some weapons. Now, when you're in the nether and you don't want to mess with any uh, mobs, you just want to push them over an edge, right? Well, that's really hard to push them over the edge, so you don't need to fight them, which is where this next weapon comes in. The diamond sword with the knockback 10. Now, you don't want to overpower it with, like, knockback 32,767, because that causes lag to our overpowered, but makes it still overpowered, but not to an extreme point where it's, like, ridiculous, like, super ridiculous. The next weapon you want to have is you want to have the bow with unbreaking because you don't want it to break obviously. So you have unbreaking 32,767 and then you have infinity 32,767 which makes it, it it's, uh, uh, infinity which means you only need to have one arrow forever. You don't need to have any more than one arrow because it like multiplies it or something. I don't know how it does it. It's, it, it's magic okay. And then you have where the magic comes in the punch 10 so that means you can just punch them really really far away so you can just get them all away like like if you see one from far away oh man i don't want to i don't even want to get close to that guy just take out your bow and boom goodbye okay let's say you're in a really really sticky situation and you're like getting mauled by a bunch of zombie pigmen or something and you are running out of health and you need really you need, you need help really really quickly or you're gonna die so what you need to get out is you need to get out a, an enchanted golden apple. Now what this does is it gives you fire resistance. It gives you protection and stuff. I don't know what the, you have to do it. Okay, it gives us, it gives us, uh, let's read these. Regeneration, resistance, fire resistance, and absorption. Or, uh, absorp, or, absorption. Absorb. I oh, thought it was a B, not a P. Absorb, uh, absorb. <laughs> so regeneration, resistance, fire resistance, and absorption. Absorb, absorb, absorb. But anyway, what what uh, what uh, uh, absorption do absorb absorption does is it allows you to get two extra hearts. As you can see, these two uh, yellow hearts right there. That is really cool. So now, two extra hearts. What the regeneration uh, effect does is it allows you to re regenerate your health really really quickly. So let's see 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 see. Yeah, you have the two extra hearts. When we jump off of this, only the two extra hearts are hurt. Also, what the protection does is it gives you extra protection with anything you get hurt by. So if you, like, jump off this, you'll get uh, protected a little bit more than you would before. So I wouldn't have lost that much, or I would have lost a lot more than that if I didn't have the uh, protection or, or what do you call it? Resistance. Alright guys, that's it for my list of things you need to conquer the nether. Did I leave anything out? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, before I go, I found this really, really cool desert temple. We're gonna go check that out. And also we have another break dancing zombie here. Man, they like dancing on those chests. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we are. We made it. Okay, here we are in the desert temple. Or not the desert temple. The desert village we found. Ooh. Oh, they're nicely decorated. A chest? Two saddles! Oh, there we go. Two saddles? That's pretty impressive right there.
Man, who buddy even goes in here? What villager just comes in here and just stands in this? Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.